subphylum Elytrozoa main characters are they are freeze moving animals they are found in the sea water and they do not attach to the substratum they are freely move in the water due to the free moving no stalk is present there is no cirrhae there is no stalk is present that is why they are freely move in the water mouth mouth is directed downwards they are present at the opposite side this is dorsal side behind this there is a ventral side that is mouth is directed downwards for example this is the dorsal side this is the ventral side mouth is present opposite this side downwards and madriporite is present in this phylum madriporite is also present through this pore water is enters into the body and umbilical grooves are closed closed umbilical grooves are present these are the main characters of the subphylum elytrozoa this subphylum is divided into four classes already we have discussed that they are asteroidia ophiuridia echinoidia and holothuridia now we have to discuss the main characters of asteroidia is the class asteroidia are commonly known as sea stars or star fishes sea star means the appearance of the body is looks like a star and found in the sea water hence they are commonly known as the sea stars they are found in the water that's why they are also known as star fishes this is the common name of this class asteroidia and arms are not clearly demarcated for example th this is the central disc central disc is from the central disc the arms are not clearly demarcated they are not clearly demarcated that's why arms are not clearly demarcated from the central disc that is also important character is in ophiuridia it is clearly demarcated that is the difference between the ophiuridia and asteroidia next class we shall discuss that character also and two feet base suckers in some animals suckers are present in some animals two feet does not contain any suckers but in this class two feet bear possesses suckers they also helps in the locomotion and pedicillaria spines body is covered by spines some spines are modified into pedicillaria in some animals here pedicillaria are present they are jaws are present just like a jaw like structures are present it is divided into two jaws is these these pedicillaria are useful for food capturing with the help of that the organism can capture the food material and protection also any enemy comes near to that it protect the body and next cleaning the body if any foreign particles are enters or present on the body it can remove it that's why it is also useful for cleaning the body these are the main functions of the pedicillaria and madriporite is dorsal side this is the dorsal side of the body is dors madriporite is present on the dorsal side mouth is present opposite this side that is known as the ventral side and the respiratory organs there are different types of respiratory organs are present here the main respiratory organs are papillae are present in some animals here dermal branchi is also present with the help of that they can respire take the oxygen and liberate the carbon dioxide and development development is also indirect there are different types of floral forms are present but here bipinnaria larva and branchiolaria larva these are the two larvas are present in the life history of the asterius and some other animals is the best examples of asterius it is commonly known as starfish astropectin pentaceres these are the good examples for the class asteroidia next we shall discuss the second class ophiuroidia